hi guys now in this particular tutorial i'm going to show you how to turn your logo into a nice 3d gold let's step right into today's tutorial so click on photoshop and then let's create new so we are using 1920 over here and then 1080 over here 72 click on create now i also want us to bring our um wall background so i'm going to provide everything in the description for you and so do not really worry i have a little challenge with, with my blog as i am doing this video but then i'm pretty sure everything will be rectified very soon so you need not to worry at all okay so with this done let's now bring our logo in there let's drag it inside photoshop and then let's resize it something like this is quite great awesome now let's come and let's bring our metal texture in there as well this is it let's drag it in there as well and then let's make sure it touches both sides of it now let's clip it to it and then let's set the blending mode over here to let's see where are you hard light great so you can fill it in there nicely done now click on your logo over here double click it and then let's go to color overlay click over here and select somewhere around this side great and then click on ok also make sure the opacity is 100 and then it is normal over here as well if you're not yet done let's click let's go over here so you can see it clearly but let's go up a little bit more awesome now we are clicking somewhere around here bevel and emboss sweet let's come over here let's set it to inner bevel awesome and then click over here let's choose smooth sweet let's set here to 599 and then let's click up over here let's also set here to 46 and then here let's set here to 6 as well now over here let's set the angle over here to 120 because we want the sun to come from this side and then also over here 30 as well let's come here let's set it to let's see let's use this one and then let's set here to screen as well come here set here to color white so you can see it changing over there and let's set it to 76 here click over here let's set it to color black and let's set it to 76 over here as well so it is standing out a little bit i like the way it feels like this is great click on ok nice so this is what we have now now kindly make sure your logo right click it and then kindly make sure you select convert to smart object so it's a smart object now i also want you to double click on it again and then this time so you can see it's having effect in there this is how we want it to be let's go to bevel and emboss again and then this time we're going to use outer bevel just so that it works with the background too and then let's set it to smooth let's set here to 100 this time not too much click here to up and then let's set here to turn we don't want it to be too much let's set here to zero awesome and then the angle still to 120 you can see it over here the light is coming from this angle set here to 30 as well but then this time let's use let's use which one should we use let's use this okay let's use this great and then click over here let's use c d c d c d nice click on okay 
we are also using screen over here and then let's set it to 99 here also click over here let's set it to 29 26 1 8 click on ok set it to multiply over here let's set it to 99 over here as well and then let's see click on ok now the metal over here i want us to give click on it and then let's give it brightness and contrast clip it to it now the contrast let's play around with it set it to around 33 and then the brightness set it to minus 22 all right so you can feel the logo you see the way the logo is standing out i love this you can do this with text as well it doesn't really matter okay just convert your text to a smart object and then you are good to go now let's put all these three in a group or a folder and then let's call it logo awesome now i want us to double click over here let's go to the layer styles now let's go to color overlay and let's give it uh, a gold color so let's use overlay here click over here let's use e zero a b one c it's a deep yellow color awesome set the opacity to 100 percent and then come to drop shadow and then let's set here to normal great let's set here to color black pick color black here and then let's set here to uh let's see let's set here to 80 percent the opacity to 80 percent let's set the angle here to 120 and then let's see let's set here to 40 let's set here to 10 great let's set here to 25 make it more deeper awesome so you can see it you can see the way it's standing out it's becoming to look more 3d and i love how it looks like so far the texture in there is very rich now click over here and select this as well and then the noise set it to zero and click on ok awesome let's close it and then let's give it some levels in the background click on levels and then let's see let's move just the middle one so let's set it to 0 0.70 0 0.70 looks cool and then come here pick a solid color set it to color black awesome now click on the mask over here click on your brush make sure caps log is off go here and select soft round brush okay let's see soft round brush over here open or increase the size and then just clean it like that sweet so something like this looks quite great and then animated now click on top of it and give it a curve and then let's drag it that you know <laughs> let's see okay so now over here on the curve click on it and then make sure here is color black and then just click here Alright guys, so guys, if you love this video, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. I love how it looks like. You see the gold texture is so rich. Ooh, guys, now please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well. I love you all. See you in the next tutorial. Peace.